man, Tyson Fury is like stalking me and saving my life. <laughs> it's like, that's some bizarre sense I never thought I'd say. I wake up every day and I'll get another message on social media from Tyson Fury. Maybe I should answer him. <laughs> It is going to happen. And the thing is, like, he has a genuine love for wrestling, a passion for it, and he's such an entertainer, he kind of gets it. So I know we could do some fun business together. And probably some kind of you know, Battle of Britain would be the theme. For old Fury, what I need to do is, if things get back to normal, we can open back up. We can finally get back to the UK. I'm two-time WWE champion, first ever British champion. I haven't been able to come back home and say, yes, we did it. So the plan is, when I were able to, I'm win back my WWE title, I'm gonna fly back home, get an open top bus at the top of Scotland. I'm gonna make my way down Scotland, big celebration all the way down, heading down into England, get to Fury's house, <laughs> set ourselves up, a little match. I've always been talking about, you know, uh, how the UK deserves a significant WWE pay-per-view. It's like such an incredible fan base, huge audience. They are so passionate. There hasn't been a huge show since 1992 when we sold out Wembley Stadium with over 80,000 people. I want to make that happen again, be it in Hamden, Ibrox, whatever it may be, maybe Wembley again. Um, but if it takes myself and Tyson Fury, you know, to draw some outside eyeballs, aside the uh, just WWE fans, the new WWE fans, we'll call them. Like, I want to make it happen. I want to make that match happen. I want to make that big show happen. <laughs>